Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. Today, we've got something incredibly handy for all the smartphone enthusiasts out there. Have you ever been frustrated because your phone is locked to a specific carrier and you want to switch? Well, today's your lucky day. We're going to show you how to unlock your Motorola. And the best part? These steps are universal, so they work for both Android and iOS devices. Think of this as your passport to cellular freedom. We're not just sidestepping those annoying network not supported alerts. We're empowering your phone to connect with any carrier, in any country, no matter the brand. Although we're using Motorola as our example, these methods are applicable across the board. So, whether you're planning to switch carriers at home or you need flexibility while traveling abroad, this guide is for you. Let's liberate your phone together, making it truly yours, ready to connect wherever life takes you. Are you with me? Great, let's dive in. Just a heads up before we jump in. Everything we're sharing today is meant to be used responsibly. We're here to help you switch carriers on a phone you actually own. It's not cool to use these tips for anything shady, like messing with a phone that isn't yours. Remember, we're all about following the law and respecting each other. Plus, we're sticking to YouTube's rules and keeping things community friendly. All right, with that said, let's get to the good stuff. Quick note for everyone. Our unlock services are primarily available in first world countries. If you're somewhere you can't access these services, or maybe you'd prefer not to use them, we've got you covered. Every week, we're giving away 250 unlocks to our viewers. All you need to do is hit that like button, make sure you're subscribed, and drop a comment below with your phone model, like a Motorola Razr 40 Ultra, your IMEI number, and the country you're in. That's it you're automatically entered to win as soon as you complete these steps. So, don't miss out on this chance. To begin unlocking your phone with Carrier Switcher, first, navigate to their website, carrierswitcher.com here, you'll spot a green button. Click on that to get started. They'll need some basic information from you, starting with your name and email address. Make sure to use an email that you have access to, as they'll send a confirmation code to it. Once your details are in, it's time to select the brand of your phone, be it Samsung, Apple, or any other. This step is crucial for the unlock process. Now, the crucial part, entering your phone's IMEI number. If you're wondering how to find this, it's simple. Dial star hashtag 06 hashtag on your phone and the IMEI should display on your screen. This unique code is essential for the unlocking process. After you've entered your IMEI, you'll need to agree to their terms of service confirming that the device you're unlocking isn't stolen. This step is not just a formality, it's a commitment to ethical conduct. Next, hit the Continue button to wrap up the process. You're almost there. At this point, Carrier Switcher prepares your unlock and sends a confirmation to your email. This email is important. It contains an access key and instructions on how to use it. This key is pretty versatile, allowing you unlimited downloads by reusing it. To proceed with the unlock, just follow the instructions provided in the email, using the access key they sent you. If Carrier Switcher isn't the right fit for you, there are other ethical and legal routes to unlock your phone from its carrier lock. One straightforward method is reaching out directly to your carrier. Most carriers have specific requirements and a process in place for unlocking devices. Typically, your account needs to be in good standing and your phone must have been active on their network for a certain amount of time. Just contact your carrier's customer service and they can guide you through their unlocking procedure. Another viable option is using a reputable third-party unlocking service. These services can unlock your phone for a fee. It's important to research and choose a trustworthy provider to ensure a smooth and secure process. Look for services with positive reviews and a strong track record. When using any service, always double check their policies to ensure you're not unintentionally breaching any terms of service with your carrier or the law. Remember, unlocking a phone that you do not own or have the legal right to unlock is against the law. For those who are a bit more tech savvy, software unlocks are another possibility. This method involves using software to remove the carrier lock. However, it's crucial to proceed with caution as this can sometimes void warranties or breach carrier agreements. Always ensure the software is from a credible source and that you understand the risks involved. Each of these methods has its own set of steps, requirements, and potential costs, so consider what works best for your situation. Whether you're switching carriers, 
traveling abroad, or simply seeking the freedom to choose your network, unlocking your phone can provide that flexibility. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more useful tips and tricks. Your support means a lot to us. And hey, if everything worked out for you, or if you've got any questions, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Your feedback helps us create better content and helps others in our community. So don't be shy, drop us a comment.